Welcome to our BLDC motor with hall sensor setup video. In this video, we will set up a three-phase brushless motor with hall sensors only. Remember, all our Titan products can work with many different types of motors, so please check out our other tutorial videos. First, let's connect the motor to the controller. For this tutorial, we will use the Titan SBX ETH. Power on the controller. Open the Titan software and check communication. Go to the motor setup window. Open the motor database wizard and check the consent window to proceed. Let's input the motor details and select the three-phase brushless motor type. Rotate the motor shaft and check the hall sensor inputs. As there's no encoder, check hall only. We will now run the auto detect routine. First, the software will detect the hall sensor arrangement. Then the software will check the encoder. As there is no encoder input on this motor, the resolution will be detected to be zero. Next, the motor electrical parameters are determined. And finally, the motor mechanical parameters are determined. Save the parameters to the database files so that we can reuse the database when using the same motor with other Titan controllers. Next, let's test the motion from the test drive window. First, enable the motor. You can see that the motor is enabled and in position. Here you can try different jogging or position moves to test the motion of the motor. You will notice that when you move the motor at slow speed, the motion will be jerky, since the hall sensor resolution is low. So typical applications for such motors should be high-speed velocity control applications, such as a conveyor or spindle control. By the way, for smoother speed control, Consider using the voltage velocity control which uses open-loop sinusoidal voltage output for smoother speed motion. Once you confirm the motor control is working, the motor may be connected to a gearbox or a load. If so, you will want to get the new mechanical parameters, so go to the tuning section and get the new mechanical inertia and friction values. Check out our other tutorials on auto-tuning for more information. If there is any question, please contact our support team for more information. Thank you for watching and happy servoing!